This is yeah, my first ever jam. Let's just jam and I imagine G. you've jammed loads, right? Come on. <laughs> I was born in a jam. So, Richard. Yes. Why have you brought me to Berlin? Well, thank goodness you asked at this junction because we're literally about to cut to the answer. Berlin's incident crowned part has seen it fragmented, divided, and more recently reunified. It has also tirelessly supported David Hasselhoff as a musician and as a storyteller, when many others were writing him off as a spent force. It is currently ranked as the world's third most livable city, and if that entirely arbitrary summation wasn't enough, 127 tonnes of sausage is consumed on these streets every day. Because I like to travel in confined spaces with death hovering by my heels, we head with studied alacrity towards the nearest East German Trabant tour. Hi. Hello, how okay. are you? Fine. Um, are we... Please enter, I'll give you a short instruction okay. how to use these old timers. Okay. Well, East German's really small. For 35 pounds each, Arvid, a man whose eyebrows cannot be contained, will lead us on his trabby safari round Berlin, doling out spiel on a clutch of the city's attractions. So we are going to pass the Reichstag building. This is the place where Adolf Hitler became the German Chancellor in January 1933. Gotta say, I'm I'm still very, very so-so on Hitler. The more I hear about him, the less warmly I feel towards him. I've got a feeling yeah. that something's not, not right. Do I turn now? I'm going to do like really what apologetic hand waves. I think you can. I'm still in first gear, by the way. <laughs> My confident motoring powers us past the TV Tower, Victory Column and Brandenburg Gate as pedestrians look on with hushed reverence. There's a famous landmark in town. The last city gate that's really good there. We have a full uh, good night. I, I'm, I, I don't even look in my mirrors because there's nothing I could do. I just want death to come quick. And why is it doing that? I mean, that's not good. You've got the handbrake on, have you? No. There's something not quite right about taking a selfie in front of Checkpoint Charlie. Or the actors. With a selfie stick. I feel we're showing far greater deference by going around in these trabants. We made it. So, thank you so much. Thank I you hope show. you enjoyed the tour. Thank you very much. From you. Yeah, I'll day. see you um, tomorrow. We'll do the same thing. <laughs> Berlin is famed for its nightlife, but that's no reason to plunge into severe depression because it also contains this vintage Kegel barn. Hidden in bar basements all over Berlin, the low-tech game of nine-pin bowling is having a welcome resurgence, thanks to people like Julian here. How long has this game existed in Germany? I need a precise date. <laughs> okay, let's say the uh, 3rd of December in 1169. That was a great it goes year for back bowling. To the 12th century, yes. It and is did they sort of... have disco lighting as early as that? No. no. <laughs> First one to, I mean, we could call it a day after this one. It looks like a drunk man trying Come to on. get home. You've got four. I plan on restaging the end of There Will Be Blood in here. I'm gonna try and do my Daniel Day Lewis impression. Eli! <laughs> Eli! Eli! That might work! Here oh we my go. god! See? Yeah. That's all you need. It's a bit of heart. Just needed a bit of Daniel Day Lewis. This is the one. Come on! That's not the it's one. Two off the one. Sensing an opportunity to elevate the sport Come on. and add fresh layers to my growing mythology, I decide to play on solo, my focus becoming zen-like. My favourite thing is you stop blinking. <laughs> I don't think you I don't know why you're talking <laughs> during such important match play. <laughs> Last one, if it's a nine. It's a five. <laughs> This Here might we go. be the one. This might Can't be the one. Oh, I got it! That's a nine. I can't believe you got it. It's a nine. We can leave. We can leave and we can <laughs> rest. And now, now you see how fun being with me can, can feel. I haven't thrown a ball in about an hour. Don't make this about you. <laughs> Allow oh. me my moment. Well done. Thank you. you Bit really... late, too late. <laughs> That hasn't been done since the 14th century. A nine. Morning is brokered at the Music Hotel by a room service delivery containing a tower of breck, some synth, and a maroon axe. 
Unbelievable. <clears throat> I've summoned Roisin to back me up as I start my morning exploration of the fretboard. Hi, Roisin. Hey, Richard. Good sleep. Yeah, great sleep. Yeah. What is going on in here? I was thinking of starting in G. I've been waiting for four hours. <laughs> OK, get going. Get you some know, salmon I... between that crusty white bread. <laughs> Are we jamming? This yeah, is my first ever jam. Let's just jam in I imagine G. you've jammed loads, right? Come on. <laughs> I was born in a jam. You've got a good um, guitar face. Thanks. <laughs> you look like you... <laughs> That's the word. Any song that ends with this. See, we're in dialogue now. Yeah? This I'm just good. going to put something in between everything you're saying. Okay, making my life like a yeah. blues story. Yeah. Okay. So, what happened this morning? Woke up this morning, had to wash my hair, then I remembered, had to play the keyboards, and I might have lied to the producers, said, it's a bit better than I am. I can't play at all. And now, Got the blues shame. No, you've gone Gary Newman. You've... Have I? That's not the blues. Okay, I've finished expressing myself. We need to leave. <laughs> Come on, didn't it's get... over. I didn't get much of a go. Here's a plectrum. Bang, <laughs> we're out.